This is the uh, plug to the mass air sensor. And the signal ground to the computer is run through this black wire with a white stripe. And I can, I can determine that it already is broken internally. You see how that is? See, if I do any of these, they don't, they want to keep an arc that's even. This little black one here, black with a white stripe, it doesn't want to keep an arc. See, no arc. So it is, I mean, it's connected, but just barely. So I'm going to cut this section out because that's a bad wire internally and it's probably from being a plug and unplugged and, and being around this bolt over time the engine rocking back and forth has just sort of uh, put pressure on that the corner of the bolt and almost the way this little yellow one is right here I almost I'm almost thinking of just cutting about an inch uh, there looks to be at least an, an inch of of play maybe I can cut out a half an inch and then resolder it and see how that goes I got the first wire cut and thought I was at good clean copper which I seem to be on this side when I started looking at this one it seems to want to have another one of those weak spots again a little bit further back it's not let me focus this again. it's not as bad as the first one but now I'm thinking maybe my best bet is to cut out the whole section of about six inches maybe go from probably cut right here and cut right there and just replace all of those wires because now that I'm seeing this second wire and then I saw this little bend here I'm now questioning that if several of the wires because this one might have gotten caught here those others that were rounded there got caught around around the bolt here you know so I think to play it safe I'm going to Cut about six inches of wire out. I'm gonna do them all. And then I'm gonna put some brand new split loom uh, that I have. I'll put some brand new split loom to strengthen that up again. I have just repaired wiring at the MAF plug. Yet, I'm still getting no response on the intake air, showing negative 38 degrees, which is the default. Getting no action on the uh, MAF signal. And, oh, sorry. And over here on the MAF uh, grams per second, uh, let's see, it's a 3.5 liter engine. Even at idle, I should be getting about at least maybe four four point one four point two grams per second I'm getting zero so it's not reporting so either there is still some problem with additional wiring on the way to the computer or I wonder if the previous problem may have affected the computer could it have Pulled a trace off the circuit board. I'm not sure, but I guess that's my my next step. Okay, I've replaced the wiring, and still was having a problem getting a signal. So I've come to discover something else. So I've got this grounded to the engine because it's going to simulate ground 105, and you see. I go from overload, because it's open, circuit, and when I close the circuit, I do get an ohm reading. So, I'm gonna go back 
before my uh, added in uh, replacement wire, we're going to pierce the wire and see, yep, we're getting a ground. As you can see it, and I'm going to do this again on this side of my wire. Make sure that my uh, wire that I put in is okay. So we're going to go, and there we go, we have a ground. However, we go in, this is the center pin, we go to the center pin, nothing. So, we'll go a little further in. There's a ground. Now we'll go about right here. And we have ground. We'll go a little further in. We'll go right here. And nothing, nothing at all at this point. Yet, this far out, still nothing. There we go. We've got a ground. So there, somewhere right in here, there is another break. I have repaired and replaced the wiring uh, to the reference ground on the mass air sensor. And so I am now, with the car not even started but the key is on, I am getting a uh, over 700 hertz at the MAF signal and I'm not getting any grams per second yet but I haven't started the car. Uh, problem is still with this air intake, it is still at negative 38 degrees. That means that the uh, intake uh, sensor is still not registering anything. But w the one problem here is fixed. Hopefully, we'll, like I said, we'll find out once we start the engine. Now with the car running, I'm now getting a math signal. You see it's almost 3,000 hertz. Oh, there's a glare, there we go. Almost 3,000 hertz. And it is a higher and better signal than I thought. I thought it was going to be in the low fours. This is actually over five volts, or I'm sorry, five volts, five grams per second of airflow. Now the only problem is intake air. Oh, intake air temp still at negative 38. So the air temperature is still not being registered by the computer. Well, we've got another wire that's just bad, and you can see this 5-volt reference, which is this wire here. Now, the problem is, you know, we just fixed this one, and then we got a math signal again. So, this one, we're getting nothing. And so, but, I've checked back here. Let's see, this wire is my white wire so my white wire if I take it into there see I've got five volts and let's see if I can hold it in there let's see I've, I'm trying to point at it but five volts so my new wire has it so now what I'm doing is having to go down to here see how far down so all right, nothing all right now, I'm going to lay this down so I don't poke myself. So this wire, we're going to poke it right, right there. And nothing. Now we're going to take it on up a little more. Take it to right here and poke it. Nothing. Let's go and poke it. Let's go and poke it right here. And at this point right here, poke it again. 
at that point right there it's got five volts so somewhere between here and here somewhere in that little section right there there is nothing so again we'll poke it here that and I'm gonna poke myself all right so poke it here five volts here nothing right there so I've got to extend my repair past this point so I'm probably gonna just take this pin out just like I did this one and lay just a, and replace this whole piece of wire so from about right inside the shell here about right there all the way out will be new just like this one this one is supposed to be black with a white stripe all I had was black with a yellow stripe so I will do the same thing here I'll try to find as close as I can to this color and uh, then we'll go from there I have added some new wire along with the original insulator there and got it all soldered in so I'm about ready to put it back together so we have completed a lot of the repairs on these wires including two of the pins in the connector itself Now, I'll show you what the readings are from the data display. And I'm now getting 86, uh, sorry, 86 degrees of intake air temperature sensor and the math is working. We should be fixed the final product after uh, the new wiring and two pin uh, repairs and now uh, split loom this thing is ready to go